Hello, collective. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, we're going to do a collective reading for a wrap up at the end of February. So a February wrap up <laughs> for you. Um, we're going to do a couple cards from the tarot, um, see what kind of comes out. And then um, we're going to do some uh, Oracle decks. I picked a couple that I haven't used in a while. So we'll kind of see what I'm guided to do. Um, when I was setting up for the camera, I did see 555 on the clock. And then I went to plug in my charger because I did not, you know, I didn't, or my phone because I didn't want it to die on me <laughs> while we were in the middle of the reading. And I saw 55%. Uh, so I was halfway there. And, um, but I saw 55 again. So that could resonate with you. Um, and then also um, I saw 606 um, just before I started the camera. So that could resonate as well. Um, today we had a little bit of kind of some breeze kind of blowing through that was unexpected because it was pretty calm this morning and it calmed down again. So, um, you know, winds of change could be here. Five is number of change. So, um, possibly, you know, be looking for something that might be unexpectedly, you know, uh, may catch you at surprise is what I'm getting. Something may catch you off guard, you know, so definitely be ready for anything that might be, you know, in a change, but I'm getting a good thing. I get a good vibe from it. Um, I did start your reading <laughs> once and then, um, as I was shuffling, I noticed two random cards sitting on the bench. So I decided to redo it for you. Um, that way we have all the cards together, but, um, anyway, so we're going to do a collective reading for, um, earth, air, fire, and water. Um, so it'll be for all signs, all elements, and um, we're going to do the fantastical creatures tarot. And then if we need to pull out the Prisma tarot, um, Prisma Visions tarot, um, just to clarify it, we may um, just depending on how deep we want to go. Um, and then we'll do a couple oracle cards. So, all right, collective. I hope you had a good day. Oh wait, tea break. <laughs> Okay, um, I hope you had a good day. Um, yeah, um, interesting, interesting. I watched a movie that was kind of different, but we won't get into that because it's a different kind of a movie. <laughs> it was, um, I don't know, it was intense. It was uh, kind of like a horror drama film, but it was based on a true story and um, kind of broke my heart a little bit. But anyway, okay, so we have Five of Cups. Um, now, Five of Cups is a card of kind of feeling, you know, kind of defeated, almost like, you know, missed opportunities. Uh, oh, Seven of Swords. Um, feeling like you have to defend yourself. Um, in this deck, we have, let's see five of or seven of swords yeah mind games um pretty a lot of mind games so almost like a battle with yourself and then uh five of cups in this deck is um emotional loss so definitely feeling like you know you know you may have just stepped out of a relationship or you're in a relationship that is emotionally and mentally um, draining for you, which is not good. That's something you need to take care of for sure. Um, make the best de best decision for you for your own personal growth. You don't want to stay stuck in something that's you know bogging you down or you know not let you be who you truly are or who you're meant to truly be or do. So we have temperance. So temperance for me is a sign of um, balance and patience. Um, definitely getting messages from the divine. Um, there are three, um, three white doves here. And in this temperance deck, or in this deck, temperance, she's holding on to, it looks like a cup and then a sword. So like the sword of truth. And then she's in the middle of water. So she's definitely, in, but she's standing still. She almost is kind of like hovering. Um, so possibly you know, knowing the truth when it comes to your emotions and keeping yourself balanced, you know, especially after this mental 
uh, prison and this um, emotional loss that you possibly could be going through, something that could be, you know, really kind of having you up in your head with this, like, fogativity is a word I made up <laughs> that I've been using. Um, so just really this mental, um, you know, conflict and mental uh, mind trap, you know what I mean? Um, but in this deck, let's look at the temperance because it is, oh yeah, inner growth. So Lady of the Lake is, um, is who she is. So my first thing is definitely, definitely getting that you are kind of in not, I wouldn't say avoid, but I feel like you're in between a situation. Possibly you just left a situation that was really, um, you know, you know, bad for your emotions. It was not giving you good feelings. You know, there was no good vibes about it. And I feel like you're spiritually growing. Like she's in, oh, excuse me, she's in this card, she's enlightened. She's looking to the sky. You know, she's looking at the divine. She's, you know, looking for answers. And then birds are a sign of messages. So I definitely feel like you are getting messages to do what's best for you you know, mentally, physically, you know, emotionally, and, um, you know, just for your stability in general, really making sure that you're doing what's good for you rather than the opinions of others. So, okay. Let's see what else we get. Oh, fine. Messages for our collective. Messages for our collective. Messages for our collective. Ooh. Oh, that Ace of Swords. Now in this deck, this is being released. Um, let's see. It's a oh, a powerful new beginning. Yeah, being released from something. So after kind of coming to this conclusion on what is going to be best for you, I feel like you definitely are releasing yourself from this burden that you possibly may have been going through. Um, I'm kind of getting. You might have been in a relationship with, I'm kind of getting like an Aquarius Libra Gemini um, that was emotionally manipulative, you know, and just kind of had you in your feelings all the time and possibly not somebody that was very nice. Like, I feel like they were constantly stabbing you with their opinions and, you know, bad mouthing you. I just, I'm getting that it wasn't a good situation. It was a lot of verbal abuse. Um, that you're kind of taking yourself out of, you know, which is good. You know, you've come to that, you know, you've come to that clarity and the conclusion of what you need to do to better your situation and your future. And that's always a good decision, no matter what it is. Um, definitely get yourself out of that for sure. Oh, we've got the world. So you have a brand new beginning and the world is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. I mean, the sun is setting, there's multiple butterflies, um, you know, there's ocean life and land life, you know, I definitely feel like you are ready for this new adventure, you're ready for change in your life, you're ready to take that, that next step to, you know, doing what you need to do, you know what I mean, like you, you're, you're, you're making your plans, is what I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting that you're making plans to have that that you know positive movement forward that you've been needing or that you've been really thinking about possibly up in your head about um and then we've got let's see yeah see and in this deck the it's good things to come now i like to think of the wheel of fortune as more of you know karmic wheels um but the world it's a rainbow serpent you know and so you're balanced in all your all your chakras now that you've come to that conclusion and that clarity. Um, you're not in a foggy, you know, mentality when it comes to making decisions. Um, I feel like you're ready to make that that movement forward, and um, good things are coming. So that's really good. We've got brand new beginnings and good things. Good things are on their way, or you're moving towards good things, which is even better. Because then, then you know your worth. You know what you deserve. And you're taking that action to make it happen. Taking the action to make it happen. <laughs> okay, let's get some more cards on the table. Oh, Queen of Cups. 
Um, hmm. You could be going towards a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and that's just energy. It could be um, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Um, oh, and then we've got the star. <laughs> I just noticed as I was splitting the deck. Um, so definitely, you know, this could be the person that you've been wanting to be with. It could be somebody that you've been keeping your eye out on. Um, you know, and I feel like you're ready to make that, that decision and that forward movement to make things happen for yourself. So that's good. I like this. Okay, let's get three more. Fine, three more cards for our collective. Three more cards for our collective. Oh, there we go. High Priest. You are definitely being divinely guided to do what you need to. Like, you already know. You're out of this mental mind trap. You're taking the initiative to have these new beginnings and start a brand new cycle. And possibly with somebody that you've been keeping your eye on um, that's going to love you the way you deserve to be loved. And then you've got High Priestess. And the High Priestess... And this deck, let's see if it says anything different. I'm getting to know this deck, so bear with me. <laughs> um, or the high priest. Um, yeah, spiritual advice. Yeah, you're definitely getting your, you're getting your guidance that you need. You're getting the messages from the divine to make that change. And I feel like you're finally listening to those messages. You're listening to synchronicities. Like if you're seeing multiple numbers or you're seeing signs that remind you of the person that you want to go towards or you know, the situation that you want to go towards. I feel like you're definitely putting, you know, your heart and your soul towards making something happen for the better of your future. You know what I mean? Okay. Two more. Two more for our divine. Oh, from our divine. Not two, but we'll take it. <laughs> so we've got the hermit. Then we have the sun. We have strength and judgment. That's pretty darn intense. I am not going to lie. So, let me soak this in, like some marinade, for a second. <laughs> yeah. So you're definitely getting messages from the divine to go within and become enlightened about your situation and what you need to do to move forward, okay? And I feel like you're doing that because you're moving towards the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? And this one, let's see, we've got... Um, it's the winged lion. Courage is needed for success. So really just making sure that you have the inner strength to be able to make those choices that are needed to be done. And then that way you can move forward on a positive, you know, positive aspect when it comes to making sure that you're going to get that outcome that you deserve and that you've been working hard for. You know what I mean? I really like this. I love that the sun came out with strength. Oh, and then you got you got the actual strength card. Um, it literally means don't give up in this deck. It's the Oriental Dragon. So really making sure that you are completely balanced in all of your chakras, making sure that you're balanced in every you know aspect of your life, so that you can make these positive movements forward. You know that's really good. I really like this. Okay, and then judgment. So judgment was the last one that came out. Let's see if it says anything different. Yeah, time for a positive change. So you already know it's already on the table. You already know what you need to do. You just have to have the strength to be able to make that last decision, make that last hurdle. I feel like you're almost there. I feel like you're still kind of tying up loose ends. And, um, you know, the time is now, you know, we've got the world, we've got judgment, the sun, high priest, the strength card, you know, ace of swords, um, you know, temperance, you've had that time to kind of heal and become balanced and really kind of make sure that you are ready to make this decision that you've been pondering about, possibly up in your head. And I feel like you are, you're ready. You have that strength to do what you need to. I like this. Let's, let's stick with this deck. Oh, High Priestess. Mother Lover. <laughs> so we've got the High Priestess on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to keep, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to peek no more. Let's, um, let me shuffle again. And then let's clarify with this deck. I'm kind of enjoying this deck. I haven't had it for very long, so it's still kind of slippery. <laughs> slippery when wet. Um, Okay, let's see. Clarify five of cups. Clarify five of cups for our ooh, 
that wanted to come out. We've got Eight of Pentacles. So Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, possibly financial loss, knowing, you know, or Eight of Pentacles is usually working and, you know, reaping what you sow. You know, um, that hard work, you know, you're getting it back. Now, it clarified by the Five of Cups, I feel like you might possibly be, you know, feeling like you're financially going to be losing, but in the end, you're going to be gaining more than you lose. So that's kind of just what I'm getting there. Okay, let's do clarify Seven of Swords for our collective. Clarify Seven of Swords for our collective. Oh, that was more cards than we needed, but the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> So I really like this. I like this a lot. This is literally, I mean, the cycle ends. You're ending a cycle. You're putting an end to this mental mind trap and this emotional um, manipulation that you've been going through, whether it be at work, whether it be, you know, with a partner, whether it be with a friendship, um, no matter the situation, you're putting an end to it. Um, you're ready to move forward and have positive outcomes in your life. You know what I mean? We've got Ten of Swords, that's an end, an end to a cycle, again, really not having any more, you know, you can't go any farther than, you know, where you've hit, you know what I mean? There's only, you can only go up from here, and I feel like that's very important. you got Four of Pentacles, that can be a card of really kind of holding on. Um, you don't want to hold on tight to the past, you really want to let that go, letting go of those burdens, you know, don't. Don't take those with you in this new beginning. You know, you deserve better, collective. And then we've got death. Okay, this is scorpionic energy. I don't like to say death. Um, all A lot of the decks will say death. Some of them will say transformation, but I like to emphasize the transformation part. I feel like it's more of like a rapid change because you're ready for new. A cycle has ended and you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for, you know, new energy in your, you know, in your auric field, you know, you're ready, you're ready. I just, I can feel it. You've already kind of, again, you're tying up loose ends so that you can move forward. Okay, clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. Oh, oh, we got C, nine of swords, and we got the empress. So I feel like you're definitely taking your power back, you know, as the empress to grow something that's going to be fruitful. You've got Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords is usually, a well, in this deck, let's see. Oh, Nine of Swords is balancing of karma in this deck. So really, again, you're, you're balancing out your situation by making the actions that are needed to be able to move forward. And I feel like you are in your, you know, your Empress energy, divine masculine or divine feminine, no matter who I'm talking to, um, you're taking your power back and you're balancing out this, you know, this toxic situation that you were in and you're letting go of that toxicity. You're letting go of anything that's toxic in your life, people, places, things. It doesn't matter what it is, you know, addictions. You're letting all of that go so that you can move forward on this Ace of Swords. Um, Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, because the Ace of Swords and Worlds is kind of self-explanatory. Let's clarify Queen of Cups. Who is this person that the collective is thinking about? Oh, that was a lot. Okay. <laughs> We've got, oh yeah, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So feeling like you're up in, the head, up in your head about being left out in the cold. You've got Ace of Cups because this person is your ideal person. And we had oh, three on the bottom and we got High Priestess. We got Ace of Wands and then Four of Swords. So Four of Swords is a card of rest and rejuvenation, um, really kind of recuperating from the situation that you were in. And I feel like that's what you were doing, especially recently, um, moving forward. I do feel like with the Ace of Wands, that's taking passion and action towards your queen of cups, whether it be divine masculine, divine feminine, um, this person is going to love you like you deserve to be loved. Um, I kind of feel like this person already knows that you're on the way. <laughs> so don't be surprised if your person is not surprised. 
um, we've got Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups, again, is a card of, you know, the ultimate love. And the Queen of Cups usually has that love. I mean, she's even carrying it with her as she's swimming throughout the water. Like, she knows how to love. And she puts her whole heart into something um, she doesn't. You know, she wears a heart on, her heart on her sleeve, or him, um, if you have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your chart, um, or the person you're thinking of, um, they're going to give you that Ace of Cups. They're going to give you that love that you, again, you truly deserve. Um, but I feel like you are up in your head about being left out in the cold. So I'm not seeing Six of Cups, so I don't believe this is somebody you've been with in the past, but you possibly might know this person, is what I'm getting. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um, don't be afraid. I'm getting, don't be afraid. Um, take that chance, even if you think that she knows, um, which she probably does because she's the Queen of Cups or he's the, the you know, King of Cups, we'll say. Um, they're very intuitive, so they know a lot, usually about a lot, <laughs> a lot of things. But if you take this passionate action forward with good intentions, you, you know, you may be surprised again. Oh, a, a change. The winds of change are here. Um, you know, I saw 606. That's a balance. You know, that's literally 606. It's, it's a balancing of the scales. It's the balancing of karma. Um, you need to have that strength. Take that action, collective. I like this. I like this a lot. I really do. Okay, let's let's clarify the hermit. What does our collective need to become enlightened about? What does our collective need to become enlightened about? Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit for our collective. We might not need to clarify. <laughs> I mean, it's again, pretty self-explanatory, but between high priestess and the sun, you know, just really coming to clarity about what's going to be best for you, you know, for your future. Clarify a hermit. Oh, there we go. Ten of pentacles. This is going to be extremely prosperous, loving, and abundant relationship. Whatever you're going towards, whether it be, you know, work, a brand new, uh, you know, opportunity for work, whether it be, um, you know, relationship, you have to have that strength collective. Take your inner strength, take your power back, and make that motion forward so that you can take action with the messages that you've been getting from the divine because judgment is here and you truly deserve. You have to have that, um, you know, you have to have that inner strength. You have to have that inner strength that you know what you're doing is the right choice and the right decision. And um, Ten of Pentacles, it's going to be extremely abundant. I think you will be, again, pleasantly surprised. So I like this. We've got Page of Swords. Um, you possibly could have been watching this person. Page of Swords is usually kind of a card of spying or keeping an eye out. Um, you know, maybe this person is online. You've been watching their Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, YouTube, whatever. Um, but I definitely feel like you, you have that strength. You just need to use it. Okay. Collective. I like this. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I kind of like this reading. We'll keep it this, these cards. Um, but let's do a couple, let's do a couple, um, oracles. Um, we're going to do the Enchanted Map Oracle, so that way you know where you need to go when it comes to the situation. Um, I've already shuffled them, but I'll shuffle them again on, on the table for you, and then we'll just split deck. We'll just do it right down the middle and see what you get. Metamorphosis. You're making that change. You're literally transforming yourself. I feel like you're re-identifying yourself as a person, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I feel like you have transformed. You're possibly not the person that you used to be. And, uh, you know, I really am getting that this, this positive change in yourself 
is gonna make a positive change in your environment. And that's extremely incredible. Very, very good. Very good, the collective, very good. I like it. Okay, let's do, let's do, oh, you know what? Let's do Sacred Forest Oracle. We'll read from the deck and then we'll do Divine Abundance. For ya, for ya. Okay, oh, almost. Okay, Sacred Forest for our collective. Sacred Forest for our collective. Sacred Forest. Oh, number 25 could be significant. Um, sacred Forest for our collective. I just saw that on your metamorphosis card, so I thought I'd point that out. Okay, or number seven. Um, sacred Forest. Ooh, there we go. Energy. Fire Spirit. You possibly could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or have that in your chart, but you're taking that, you know, you've got your, you know, your arse is on fire. <laughs> you know, you're taking that initiative to move forward passionately. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get another one. Let's get another one, and then we'll read. And then we'll read. We'll read from the book. Okay. Collective. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Generosity and flow. I like this. Meandering pathway. And then maple spirit. I feel like this is going, if you put your, if you put all of the effort and energy into this new situation, like you've been doing to yourself to be able to transform and, you know, have this metamorphosis into a brand new beginning, by the fall, I think you will agree with yourself that you made the right decision. I feel like what you're about to go into and embark on is going to be extremely good for your growth. And I feel like it's something that you're going to be able to grow with every year. Um, you know, it's a maple spirit, you know, and the, the, the leaves are red. Again, I'm getting fire energy. So, you know, taking that initiative to make a... Oh, we got 23 and 17. So 25, 23, and 17. Um, but anyway, so taking that initiative to be generous to yourself and then to the person that you're going towards. You know, don't be afraid to give your love out because I think you'll be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. You're about to go into a Queen of Cups energy and um, you're going to get it you know, reciprocated. It's going to be an equal give and take and I think you'll be quite surprised so okay we've got flow meandering pathway let's read that one. let's read that oh and number 24 oh my god so we have 23 24 and 25 that's interesting and those dates are coming up so that could be significant as well number 20 okay Number 24, meandering pathway, flow. As you surrender down the pathway, you are not sure what is around the next corner, but you are um, you are relishing in the moment. Um, you gaze at the interplay of light and dark of the leaves of the trees and the inhale the fresh forest air, as is well. You know that you don't have to see your destination. All that is required is to enjoy the journey. So I feel like you should just take a deep breath and know that what you're about to, you know, metamorphose, what you're, what you're about to change into is going to be extremely beneficial for your future. So, okay. When life presents you a meandering pathway or path rather than a straight shot to your, to a goal, you can feel frustrated. You might uh, be known to the fact that the path seems aimless and roundabout and that you can't see what's ahead. On the other hand, you can just enjoy the voyage. And life right now seems to have some, some sinuous uh, curves, bends, loops, turns, don't despair. So you are, I feel like you, you know, you're kind of not quite sure, you know, you just gotta stay focused, stay focused and forward on this path and you're gonna, you're gonna get to your destination. Um, all as it should be. This card is suggesting that you relinquish control to the path forward and just see where it takes you. Um, so again, have the strength to be able to move forward, okay? And take that choice. Whatever you've been thinking about, do it, okay? 
Um, you don't have to have all of the answers to succeed. You don't know, uh, you don't need to know what tomorrow holds to have an astonishing future. Simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You'll get to exactly where you need to go before, um, let's see, where you need to be for your highest good. Okay. Um, the spirit of meandering path says everything falls into place when you don't resist the flow of the meandering pathway of life. Allow the path to take you where you need to go. Don't hurry and don't resist it. Simply let go, surrender, and enjoy the journey. That was magnificent. I really like that. It's almost like perfect, especially for this reading for you guys, collective. Um, again, taking that initiative to know that your choice is going to be, you know, good for your future. You know, you just have to enjoy the ride. Um, follow your intuition. Do what you know is going to be better for you. Okay. Divine Abundance. To wrap it up for our collective end of February energy for our Divine Abundance for our collective. Divine Abundance. Oh, almost. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Seth Love. I like this. Okay. Um, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. So again, having that childlike, I kind of getting that like this person makes you feel childlike again. Like, you know, you get excited and giddy. Like, you know, you were, if you were a kid on the playground, you know what I mean? And you see your crush. So um, having that self-love, knowing that you deserve to be loved properly and you're about to be with this person because you're going into a Queen of Cups energy. So that's good. Okay, let's get one more. Divine messages for our collective. Divine abundance. End of February. Divine messages. February wrap-up. <laughs> February wrap-up. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, we might only get one. I mean, self-love is enough. Okay. Always remember that. Okay. One more card divine. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get another one. Oh, maybe it's because it was on the bottom. Your path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Collective. This right here is literally the perfect end to your reading. You're literally, I mean, true offering. You're getting the messages from the divine to have the confidence in yourself to know that your path is already divinely, you know, written in the stars. You're already on the path that you're supposed to be. What you've gone through made you who you are today, and it's going to make you a better person for tomorrow. Okay? Keep going. Keep going, Collective, because the decision that you're about to make or that you've been thinking about is going to be extremely prosperous. Remember, Ten of Cups, or Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I said Ten of Cups for a reason. So Ten Ten, uh, for me, is definitely an end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, and it's going to be abundant, and you know, you've got the Queen of Cups plus the Ace of Cups, so definitely lots of love, lots of love and abundance in your future. Congratulations, Collective. Congratulations. So if this reading resonated with you, I hope you uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next episode, I will see you later. Bye.